Paraguay has little industry, but it does have plenty of land, and it's fertile. This country of just 7 million people is a major exporter of grains and beef. Yet land distribution here is among the most skewed in the world. 1% of the population owns more than 70% of arable land. Tens of thousands of rural peasants, or campesinos as they're known here, live off of small plots like these. It's difficult to get land because there's no agrarian reform and no political will to do it. The repercussions are poor campesinos migrating to the cities and living in slums. A story repeated throughout Latin America over the decades. And now the latest chapter, a small band of Marxist rebels, known as the EPP, hide in agricultural areas and launch armed struggle, they say to reverse Paraguay's extreme inequalities. The EPP guerrillas are a result of the lack of land and inequality. We are very concerned about this because there is no solution for us. People don't feel like democracy is a means to a better life. Fernando Lugo, a former Catholic bishop from a rural farming area, took office as president two years ago. Land reform was a top campaign priority, but progress in addressing such an entrenched problem has been slow. These are the Paraguayans most hoping for reform, the sin tierra, or simply the landless. As the rural population grows and land ownership remains concentrated, their numbers continue to rise. Nobody knows exactly how many landless campesinos there are living in Paraguay because there's never been a real census taken in the rural areas. But the government estimates there are probably more than 150,000 of them living in settlements like these throughout the country. Powerful cattle ranchers and grain farmers sometimes see their land invaded or occupied by the Sintieras. Now those same elite are frightened by the budding guerrilla movement, which has kidnapped two ranchers for large ransoms. There are some of us who don't go to our ranches anymore for fear of kidnapping. The absence of the state is hurting us. It's not just this government. We've been warning about this for years. Campesinos like Asuncion Duarte say they are now suspected of collaborating with the guerrillas, while the peasants fear the landowners are forming private militia for protection. Each side denies the accusations, but a potentially dangerous cycle of mistrust has already begun. Craig Morrow, Al Jazeera, Concepcion, Paraguay.